Hi, this is Paul Gabriel with another Ask ZBrush episode. Okay, for this one, we got the question, how can I activate thick skin? So this is really easy to do, but a very powerful feature. And it's one of my favorite features inside of ZBrush, actually. So I just loaded the dog that ships with ZBrush once again from the light box here. If you're in the projects tab, right here, there'll be a default project. And then right here is the Greyhound dog. So just so if you all want to follow along or be able to go back after the video and play with this. So we've got a dog and right now I've just smoothed out a portion of the dog so you guys can see how this is going to work. So activating thick skin is really easy. You're going to come over here to your tool palette. You're going to go to the thick skin menu, click on that. And then all you have to do is turn on that button. And then there you go. You have now thick skin activated. So I want to touch briefly on a couple things of why thick skin is really cool and what you can do with it. So right now we've got thick skin and its thickness slider is set to five. So what this allows us to do now is I can sculpt here and you can see no matter how often I sculpt over this area, it's not going to go any higher than what it is right now. So what that means is I can go anywhere and get the same height and I give you to decide, you know what, I want these to actually now connect. And you can see everything is going to plateau at the height that is set by this thick skin slider. And of course, this will work if you're sculpting inward. So now I'm sculpting inward with my brush. And you can see it's there's a point where it stops. It doesn't just keep going into the surface. And any time I can start somewhere else and then even connect everything again. So this is really nice technique to be able to use this. Now there's something else that I really like about thick skin is I can actually set this to zero. And when I now go and want to sculpt in this, you can see that I'm actually pretty much now starting to erase what I sculpted, right? And bring the dog back to where it was before I even did this thick skin. So, I have another version of the original dog here and you can see in this version, this is just pretty much what was done with this dog. It's got thick skin on, the thickness is set to five and the brush that did the work here on the dog ships with ZBrush as well. And if you hit B for your brush palette and hit T, you'll see the first brush here is called thick skin clay. And then this is the brush that really gave this clay look to the dog. So you now you just freely sculpt wherever you want and you'll get something that kind of looks like, you know, brushing on strips of clay with tooling. It's a really nice feature. So I really enjoy using thick skin. It's a lot of fun. I encourage you all now to load your ZBrush and try this out. So thank you for watching. This is another episode of Ask ZBrush. Please continue to send in your questions through our Twitter at hashtag AskZBrush. Happy ZBrushing. Have a great day.